Talking Live. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your host, Amanda Kinseth. And Cecil Chandler. If it's happening in the area, then it's on Carolina and Company Live. Hello, welcome to Carolina and Company Live, and happy Tuesday. That's right, it's a Tuesday. Let me tell you, if you're always looking for something to find out what's going on in the area, this is the only show that keeps you informed about everything going on. Plus, you learn a lot, too, on the show. Certainly do. I learned about Darth Vader the other day. That's, That's right. pretty exciting. Yeah. I mean, it's just fun stuff that we do on this show. It's always fun. So uh, call your neighbors, tell them we're on the air, because something exciting is going to happen today. Yeah, and people find out about community events. I mean, nobody would know where to go, right? That's right. If they right. didn't watch the show. That's and right. You wouldn't know whether to go outside or inside either if you didn't catch the <laughs> weather. I know I stay inside on the cold days. Yeah, and with the rain moving in, it's going to be an inside afternoon, and we have to even keep an eye on the radar for a few strong thunderstorms later on today as well. But the rain, well, it's held off for the most part so far today, but it's starting to overspread the area now. Mainly light and steady, but we will see some batches of some moderate to heavy rain move in through the afternoon. I-95 corridor seeing the light misting rain, even over to the Grand Strand, a few isolated showers. But again, more rain south. Looks like it's going to be lifting across the area through the afternoon and even into the late night hours. Watch out for some stronger thunderstorms as we go into the late evening hours to the early morning hours, roughly around from 8 o'clock tonight through about 2, 3, 4 o'clock tomorrow morning. We are going to be seeing the system work its way off to the east, and we'll start to dry out a little bit as we go into your Wednesday midday and Wednesday afternoon with the skies clearing out of touch as well. But soaking rain moving in, coming down heavy at times, giving us 1 to 3 inches of rainfall possible could create some localized flooding concerns. With that slight risk of severe weather, the primary threat would be damaging wind gusts, but the tornado threat, it's fairly low, but not zero. So that certainly warrants watching this afternoon. Uh, I should say this evening and late tonight as well. Big disparity in temperatures, mid 60s along the coast, upper 40s for the I-95 corridor and west, and that's going to be the general case. We're going to stay in the mid 60s across the Grand Strand, struggling to get to the 60 degree mark inland because of a warm front that's kind of nosed its way on shore. We will see a big drop in the temperatures once the rain moves on. That'll be for your Thanksgiving day. High of only 46 degrees for the Grand Strand. And we're going to look at 45 degrees inland. Black Friday shoppers, be prepared. It's going to get very cold as well, but at least we're in the 50s for the weekend. Weather is brought to you by A&I Fire and Water Restoration. I'm Jason Classwell, morning anchor WPDE News Channel 15. Here's what we're working on today. Thanksgiving is just two days away, and a winter storm is causing travel headaches across the nation. What it means for those living on the Grand Strand and in the PD. But South Carolina sells 100th winning ticket worth more than $1 million. We'll break down those numbers and what game won the most. Those will break down where you can get free Thanksgiving dinners along the Grand Strand and in the PD. All that plus your holiday forecast tonight on WPDE News Channel 15. Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. It's time for the Grand Strand Humane Society coming every week, always with a an adorable animal that needs a home. I know they just get more and more adorable every week, <laughs> they don't really they? They do, yes. This is Colorado. He's a Chihuahua mix. He's probably between a year and a half and two, maybe. So he's as big as he'll get. Okay. And he's a real lover, snuggler, very calm. Yeah, real well behaved. Somebody was commenting about how well behaved. He's he well is. behaved, better than a lot of children, yes. I heard. <laughs> you betcha. <laughs> so if somebody wants to take this dog home, maybe for the holidays, they just stop on by? Oh, yes. We're at 3241 Mr. Joe White Avenue, known as 10th Avenue. And um, we would love to see everybody. Sure. And uh, I want to mention you're always accepting donations. And people love pets, but they can't always, you know, give a whole lot or adopt a pet. But what can they do? Well, that's why every holiday season we have a dollar for dogs and kittens, too. So everybody can just give a dollar. Just one. Just one dollar. And we know those who can will give more. But every dollar helps us. Every dollar does help. So help out the Grand Strand Humane Society. And... Stick around for the show because all you pet lovers, there's something that you're going to want to see. It will help you save your pets. We'll be right back. I love the Y because the people, the staff, Dean, everyone, all the instructors are all fantastic. There's an assortment of classes, variety, and everybody is so friendly and it's a great place to work out. So come on down. That's yeah. what we're talking about, the YMCA, and listen to what they have going on right now for the holidays okay. in December and January. It's half off 
dues. Half off. Half off. That's a good deal. Half the waistline, half off the dues. There it is right there. It's incredible savings. And I do want to remind you, they've got more than 70 fitness classes. They've got that six-lane heated indoor pool, a sauna, the, you know, huge wellness area. Just a lot of stuff to offer there. But half off right now. So go That's check it out. Anything you're looking for, they got it. Oh, they certainly do. Okay, they Absolutely. do have PT90 or whatever it is. P P P90X. P90X. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. <laughs> they have a lot of, they some have kind a lot of, of classes real there. hard workout. Yeah, They've yeah. Got They've got, we've got insanity. We do insanity there. Insanity workout. It's even harder. It. I don't need that. All right, let's find out a little something going on. I don't mention something that's happening in Mullins, South Carolina. Mullins has their Christmas tree lighting. It's Sunday, December 1st at 5 p.m. in front of the train depot and followed by a tour of churches at 545. Nice. So check that out. They've got a lot of Christmas tree lightings coming up. Now, today's Tuesday, November 26th, and this is Cake Day. Cake? cake? cake. Did, did you bring a cake. cake? I didn't bring one, though. And it's also Pick It Up Day. Go pick up the pick cake up the and cake bring it. And bring it back. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. Birthdays today, let's check out 1939. There she is, Tina Turner. This lady has the most fabulous legs in the world. She's 74 years old. She won seven Grammys for her music. 1971, the big one. Proud Mary. You remember that. 1938, Rich Little. He's 75 years old does all kind of impressions of celebrities and called a man of a thousand voices. He used to love to watch him do Johnny Carson. 1953, Harry Carson, he's 60, played for the New York Giants Football Hall of Fame, and his sister lives in Florence, and Harry visits all the time over there. Now, on this day in history, it was 1789, the first national Thanksgiving. 1865, Alice in Wonderland was published, and in 1962, the first recording session under the name of the Beatles. And boy, the rest of it's history. All right, from the know-it-all department, you ready? This ready. is one of those famous quotes from a movie. Okay. All right, we're going to see if anybody out here knows it. Ready? All right. After all, tomorrow is another day. Anybody? anybody? Go with the win. win. There, there it go. is. There it is. 1939, that's what she says in there. You know, tomorrow's another day. Tomorrow is another day. So you learn something every day on the show. You Sometimes. didn't know that, did you? I've heard of it. You've heard of it. <laughs> uh, frankly, my dear. Okay. That's from that <laughs> show, too. All right. All right. We have an outstanding <laughs> show, so don't go anywhere. We will be right back talking to Dr. Epperson. Tis the season, and that means it's time for the 19th Annual Tree Lighting Celebration at Broadway at the Beach on Saturday, December 7th, beginning at 6 p.m. Enjoy singing, dancing, mascot appearances, and a few extra surprises, including a fireworks extravaganza over Lake Broadway at 8. This year's tree lighting includes entertainment courtesy of the Carolina Forest Performing Arts Academy, as well as performances from Legends in Concert and Palace Theater Myrtle Beach. For more information, visit broadwayatthebeach.com or like us on Facebook. And we hope to see you and your family at the 19th Annual Tree Lighting Celebration, Saturday, December 7th, beginning at 6. Hello, I'm Cecil Chandler. When I found out that bioidentical hormones are for men as well as women, I just knew I had to try it. I've been using bioidentical hormones now for over a year. I feel better than I did when I was in my 20s. My energy level is improved and I just feel great all the way around. I feel like I'm on top of my game. Dr. Everson worked with his patients to make sure you're getting exactly what you need to feel your best because you've got a lot of living to do. Call Bioidentical today for your consultation. Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Dr. Epperson is here talking about being healthy. That's right. That's one thing you got to think about. Now, the holidays are coming up, and people that are on diets, <laughs> Doc, i got to ask you, what do we do? Well, the thing about it, you need to remember, there are going to be people coming, you're going to be running into them, and getting a few pounds off is going to make you look better. Uh -huh. You'll okay. look better in your clothes, so it's still time to do that, especially for the Christmas holidays. Now, one of the key factors is, is when you are eating you don't have to eat everything. You don't have to get a sample of everything that's at the table because when you do that, you're just going to increase your calories. When you do pick something, pick it in moderation, get small amounts of it, and enjoy your times. Just don't completely overdo it throughout the time. So you're talking about be a food snob? Is that what you're talking about? Yes, to be a food snob. <laughs> okay. Pick the things that you want to eat the most and, and leave the other things. Just because they're there, because aunt so-and-so made this, you can't just gobble it up and tell them, oh, that was great. Pick your food. Be careful about that. Now how about skipping meals? Do you skip meals to work up for the big one? What happens is, is completely skipping meals is not a good idea because it causes you to have such a hunger surge. So when it's time to eat, if you'll just pick up a few calories, eat an apple, a banana, celery, something simple, then when it's time for the big meal, you won't be gobbling up so much because we do get a rebound hunger whenever we don't eat at all. Yeah, all right. absolutely. And then you just <laughs> scarf it all down. Now you think about parties. Everybody's got parties to go to. 
What right. do you do at a party? Are they walking around with other things, giving you something yeah, to eat? Yeah, there's so many sure. options. Sure, well, there's so many options. I would say pick the things at the party that are more fruit-related, vegetable-related. Leave off the things with the cream cheese and the high-calorie things and the dips and the things that's been fried. Thinking about your fat grams, it's so important. Look at what the fat content is and try to avoid those things. Okay, and what yeah. if you completely screw up and you totally binge? <laughs> you know, what do you do, Doc, <sighs> you blow it? Well, <laughs> there certainly is time to do better as the future goes on, and you need to look at things and say, okay, I have gained eight pounds over the holidays, 10 pounds over the holidays. Well, we certainly have a weight program that can help you and achieve your goals with that. Those that want to try to make it at home, well, just think about your fat grams, count them, cut them down, and see if you're losing weight. If you're not, we have methods to show you how to do it. Yeah, people yeah. want more information about Dr. Epperson, they can go to their Facebook page or the website. You can check them out online. And, um, you know, so some of the things you want to stay away from, maybe like butter and gravy and all those well, really yes, delicious, all not good stuff. Those yeah. are high fat content. Yeah. So you can take it, maybe dip your fork in the sauce and then punch what you're getting ready to eat. And that way you just have a coating on your fork and enough for <laughs> the plate. There you go. So you get a little bit. A Thank little you, bit Doc. Goes a long Always way. a pleasure. Yes. I'm yes. going to try to watch what I eat. <laughs> more to come. A little bit of that. Yeah, right. a lot of that. No. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be right back. There he is. Look at him. Big dog. That's right. Talk about <laughs> FSA. We are here, and this is a great way to protect your pets. You guys have teamed up with um, us and the fire department. Talk a little bit about what we have right here. Well, we've, we've uh, Terry, Tony Benson Powell in our office developed this uh, uh, this sticker and we modified it and we of course we've, we've placed y'all on it but it's it's a way for the fire department when they go into a home uh, you place a sticker on the exterior on the door on a window so it gives an awareness to a to a firefighter to be looking for an animal if when they go inside the home. Absolutely, because you guys really have no idea. No, we don't, and we know how important your furry-legged friends are <laughs> in your house, and we want to make sure that we know where they are. A few things we ask real quick is that you put it in the front of the house so we know where the animals are, and if you move into the house that has one and you don't have a pet, please remove it. Okay, all right, very nice. So you just, you, where can people pick some yeah, of these Yeah, where up? can they find them? Well, we've got them, we have them, it's your location here, we have in our FSA location in Myrtle Beach, but we also have them at the uh, Grand Strand Humane Society, the North Myrtle Beach Humane Society, as well as the Horry County Humane Society. As a matter of fact, they give them out at every adoption, included in the packet, is a pet sticker or two if they need if they need a couple. That's great. What a wonderful thing. And I do want to point out, they're not really this not that big. big. That's what I was trying <laughs> to show big. you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was just blown up just for us. But this is the size of when you put it on your window because when they go in, they don't know if you have a pet in there. And the first thing to people when they get out of the house, where's my pet? Yeah. Isn't that what they ask, Chris? They always ask that. The pets are the most important thing besides their family members, and they're always looking to get them out. And we get calls all the time about these pet finders. That's why we're so excited that FSA and the Grand Shed Humane Society has teamed up to make these available. Yeah, really a great thing. Now, I want to know what this is right here. This right here is an oxygen mask, and it might look funny because it's not made for a human. It's made for an animal. And we're just showing people that we do care about your animals. We are pet lovers. And this right here fits over the snout of your animal. Mm -hmm. And what we do is we provide oxygen outside of a fire to make sure that we can displace that smoke. Okay, wow, that's incredible. Take a look at that. That's pretty cool. Even I know. These I've seen them before. I've covered stories where they were doing an animal actually uh, trying to revive an animal yeah. they use this type things. Huh. That's very neat. I'm telling you, it really is. And this is a great thing y'all come up with. And, and uh, all you have to do is pick up one of these. There are a number of locations all over pet rescue and it tells you where the animal but if you get rid of your pet take this off your window right absolutely yes sir yeah. all right all right check it out pick it up because yeah, everybody loves their pet big dog big Give dog big still wave. in the house all right <laughs> <laughs> great way to oh. save your pets we've all got right. more coming up so don't go anywhere we'll be right back Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Something coming up that I love the sight of, Santa on the Beach. And Myrtle Beach State Park, they've always got something going all year long. And Ann's with us now to talk about Santa. Saturday, December 7th, it's always the first Saturday in December. We have our, I think it's our fourth annual photo op of Santa on the Beach. So we're gearing up for a new photo op this year. It's always on the beach because just nobody else, everybody else is usually inside right. photos. So yeah. we're really excited about it. We've got a lot of great activities for all the kids. We've got recycled crafts. I forgot to bring it. We take um, potato chips bag and make Christmas bows out of them. It's an awesome oh, craft. That's cool. It's really, yeah. Um, we've got a pet parade, a costume contest with the pets. We've got marine inspired carnival games that are only at Myrtle Beach State Park. Some of them you're seeing right now, there's the sea turtle pin, the barnacle on the sea turtle. <laughs> nice, I mean, I like we've got it. a lot of good stuff. So that was last year's photo oh, op. This year we is. got something different. 
Ooh. So really excited. It's always different because you, you can't have the same photo Yeah, you got to come back every year. Wrong. And just You're always different. thinking. Always something at State Park. I never sleep. <laughs> Always well, taking in fun, there, right? it's always fun. We, you know, we want to give something people something different to do in the area, and and you know, we'll just hope for a really pretty day. Yeah. Oh, nice. Well, that's so much fun, and what a good way to get out, you know, near the yeah. ocean. And, and we're also doing, oh yeah, we're also doing a can drive this year to help with helping hands. So if you bring out a can, you can get a um, a raffle ticket for a drawing at the end of the day for free park passport and free camping and stuff. So, All right, so or bring if some you don't want to do that, yeah. bring food anyway, because it's always good. People are always you know, in need of some yeah, absolutely. food this year. Yeah, absolutely. Nice. Well, it looks like you have stuff going on all day. It's all day. So it starts from 11, to, it goes from 11 to 4. Santa photos will be 1 to 4. The tide is high in the morning, so we got to go 1 to 4. But you can come out all day. We'll have hot dogs. You can roast your own hot dogs, marshmallows. Like I said, it's a lot of fun day. Um, we also have unique stories that are only found at the state park. They're written by some of our staff and volunteers. Ooh. So unique holiday stories. I mean, it's really a fun, different day that you won't find anywhere else. Oh, that and is then great. They need to sign up or just come out? They can just come out. Um, most things are free with park admission. There's yeah. a few things that might be a dollar or two, but yeah. it's a very affordable day for the whole family. Nice. Right. And a lot of fun. And yeah. who doesn't want a picture with Santa on the beach? I want one. That's it. And also, you can I bring your one. pets on a leash, too. Oh, <gasps> that's yeah. cool. Yeah, pet photos, that's too. That's coming up yeah. December 7th from 11 until 4. Right. And Santa will be park. there from 1 to 4. 1 to 4. Check mm -hmm. it out. Thanks, Ann. Sure. Appreciate it. Thanks. <laughs> We've got more to come. Stick with us. Coming up next on WPDE at 1 p.m. The Chew at 3 p.m. The Queen Latifah Show. And at 5 p.m. Dr. Oz, get this, he takes a look at some of the weird, bizarre quirks and behaviors and helps decode these secret habits inside your head. Coming up tonight at 7.30, you want to find out everything going on in the entertainment world. Check entertainment out tonight. 8 p.m. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. you got to watch it. That's an exciting show. 9 p.m. Everybody's waiting on it. Dancing with the Stars. That's right. Tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Rachel Ray. Gail King on Oprah's Favorite Things with Thanksgiving one day away. And 10 a.m. The Queen Latifah Show. And at 12 o'clock noon, you know what it is. Caroline and Company Live. Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. We are talking about a reindeer race that's coming up. That's right. It is coming up, too, and we've got Susan with us. Now, Susan, what in the world is a reindeer? Y'all have reindeer out there racing? <laughs> well, you might think because <laughs> some of the runners that show up are pretty fast. <laughs> but, no, it's um, our holiday race in downtown Conway. It's a 5K called the Rivertown Reindeer Race. And it's put on by the Red Cross Rescue Racers to benefit the American Red Cross. Yeah, talk about the Rescue Racers and what that means, what you guys do. The Rescue Racers, it's a group that um, the American Red Cross sort of founded. Mm -hmm. And it's a running group. We train folks to run, walk, or run, walk the half or the full marathon in the Myrtle Beach Marathon every February. We start training around October and have everybody ready by race day. And this is the Rivertown Reindeer Race is the Red Cross Rescue Racer fundraiser for the American Red Cross. Our rescue racers can either participate or help with the race to earn money towards their goal because one thing the rescue racers do, each person is raise a minimum of $500 for the American Red Cross. Yeah, and and Piotrowski's involved in all that, isn't he? He sure is. He's, he's our celebrity spokesperson. <laughs> I know <laughs> Imagine it. Imagine that. Is. He is a good one. He is a good one. And um, he's a good runner too, believe it or not. Yeah, he is. Yeah, oh yeah. So can people get involved with this? Can they come out and run? Absolutely. They can come out and run. They can come out and walk. We want folks to bring the whole family. Uh, we have a lot of folks who bring running strollers, walking strollers. This is a race, but it is a run-walk race. Anybody can do a 5K. Sure, oh, yeah. Good. Well, well it's a good way to um, work off what you want to eat for the holidays, <laughs> right? Right, and this will be coming right in between Thanksgiving and all those Christmas parties, so yes. it's perfect timing. <laughs> all right, now where, where, tell them where it's going to start and everything. And it starts at the all. Conway Marina. It right. also ends at the Conway Marina, but the route goes up Laurel and then back down Elm. It runs through some of the prettiest streets in downtown Conway. I think it's one of the prettiest, most scenic 5Ks in the area. And it starts at what time? It starts at 8 a.m. So you need to be there. Can you pre-register ahead? Yes. It, in fact, that's beneficial. It's a little okay. cheaper if you pre-register. You can do that up until um, Thursday evening, December the 5th. But, of course, you can also wait until race day. We have a locals who tend to like to do that, just to check yeah. and see what the weather's going to be like. But we're hoping for great weather. It's going to be great. And um, you can register at um, race day. All right. Very nice. Thanks a lot. Check it out. We'll the Rivertown Reindeer Race and Benefit the Red Cross. And we've got more to come, so stick with us. We'll be right back.
And welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. So next Tuesday, a week from now, live yeah. in Florence. That's right. Circle we'll be up Park. there at Circle Park, and yeah. we've got a lot of interesting things coming on. And something tonight. really neat that you want to yeah, see. Yeah, you got to see this. We're driving golf carts with impaired glasses on. Yes. This is amazing. They you got to see this. That, you know, it's kind yeah. of like we drank a bunch, but yeah. you've got these goggles on. So that is something you definitely don't want to miss. Is seeing the video, <laughs> Cecil and I tried to do that. That's so right. that is a week from now. And the rest of this week, well, we've got a lot of good stuff coming up. And we've got a special show on Thursday for your Thanksgiving. Lots of food on that That's show. That's right. Thanks so much for being here today. We'll see you right back here tomorrow. Make plans to be here because we love all of you.